Just as a way of uh, uh, getting started with, uh, with the program, I want to take just a moment and recognize some folks that uh, are here with us today. Uh, first of all, uh, I have with us Representative Will Corsi, who uh, uh, is very near and near in this area, and I know you know him well. We also have Representative Kenny Ives. Extension and expansion of the Mountain Parkway is another project that has come about and is, is currently under construction in Eastern Kentucky. The list goes on and on. We couldn't be more proud of the bridges over Kentucky Lake, the bridge, uh, the bridge at, uh, at Lake Barkley as well, with the work that uh, we're doing and soon will be doing between this location and Katie's and uh, eventually turning the entire US 68 Kentucky 80, Kentucky 80 corridor into a 60 very, very exciting time. And uh, before I introduce the governor, I have one other thought uh, that I, one other thing that I 
realize I had forgotten to do. I also wanted to thank the U.S. Forest Service for all their cooperation on our projects. And I know we have some Forest Service representatives with us today, so I didn't want to forget that. <laughs> I also want to thank some people that have been instrumental in every step along the way through this region as we have uh, developed the projects that soon will present this, uh, this nice highway corridor through the year. Friends of LBL, a great group that have helped us in, in many, many ways as we've worked uh, through all the details. So let's give everybody here at LBL. <laughs> all right, now without further ado, it's my honor to introduce to you a native of Western Kentucky, someone that I know truly cares about all of Kentucky, but I've seen firsthand his love for this part of the state. Without further ado, let me give you the Governor's Seat of Sheep. It's great to be back home. As you all know, Dawson Springs is just up the road. I always like to tell my friends in West Kentucky, you know, you're very close to the center of the universe. That being Dawson, of course. <laughs> but what a great area to be born in, grow up in, live in, uh, and enjoy. And this day, today, has been a long time coming. And I have been looking forward to this day for a long time. The construction of new bridges over Lake Barkley and Kentucky Lake has been one of my highest priorities during my eight years as governor, both because I know what they mean from a transportation standpoint, but I also know what they mean from an economic development standpoint. These bridges have been badly needed for a long time. I think it's worth remembering that these bridges, the Henry Lawrence Memorial Bridge and the Eggers Ferry Bridge, were built back in 19. To go over rivers, not lakes. They've served us well for a long, long time, but they have long since ceased to meet design standards for modern volumes and types of traffic, including RV traffic and freight carriers. So the new bridges have been a long time coming, and to see them under construction is one of my proudest experiences and moments as your governor. I can't help thinking back to a night in July in Murray, Kentucky, seven years ago. It was the first year of my administration, 2008. I was down in Murray to speak to the Murray Callaway Chamber of Commerce. And you know, in 2008, there wasn't a lot of good to talk about. The national economy was in a meltdown. And like other states, Kentucky was struggling and our families were struggling, our businesses were struggling with a historic recession. Gasoline at the pump was over four bucks a gallon. So people had drastically cut back on driving. That had a devastating impact on our road funds. And also the fact that when I came in, the cupboard was bare. There wasn't anything left in that road fund. A lot of good, worthy transportation projects were hanging in the balance all over the Commonwealth, including right here in West Kentucky. At that time, you may remember, the State Transportation Cabinet was well along on a project to complete the four-laning of Kentucky Aid from Murray to Mayfield. To be specific, they were, they were nearly finished with the grade and drain portion of construction on the stretch from Murray to Coldwater. The roadway was ready for final surfacing. There was just one problem. That asphalt surfacing was going to cost $18 million. And we didn't have it. We had about half that amount at that time, about $9 million. And the cabinet was planning to surface just one side 
and make it a two-lane, two-way road. Because the idea was to do enough to get us through and to tide us over. But that, I knew, would be a big blow to the people in this region. So that night in Murray, I stood before that chamber, and I made a commitment. I promised that Kentucky 8 was going to be four-legged. And to be honest with you, I didn't know where the money was coming from. I just knew that we had to find it. But find it, we did. And today, that project's completed, and there are four lanes on it. On <laughs> some redesign would be necessary. But you strongly felt, and I strongly felt, that the design of these bridges had to make a statement. They had to make a statement about the importance of the Jackson Purchase and serve as a signature gateway for West Kentucky and our Lakes region. And so, almost exactly a year after that speech in Murray, this one, in July of 2009 to be precise, I had the pleasure of unveiling the design that was ultimately selected for both bridges. The design called a basket handle tied arch. It's a design that offers a good balance of practicality, cost effectiveness, and aesthetic appeal. In other words, it's a design that allows us to make that bold statement, to offer that signature gateway without breaking the bank. As you know, construction of the new bridge across Kentucky Lake is already underway. We broke ground on it in September of 2014. And today, we're ceremonially breaking ground on the bridge over Lake Barker. This is a $128.3 million project. And it will serve as the eastern entrance to the land between the lakes national recreation area. It will have four travel lanes, each 11 feet wide, plus four foot shoulders and a 10 foot pedestrian and bicycle path. Now the new Lake Barkley Bridge is expected to be open to traffic by October of 2017. And once completed, the Lake Bridges project, all of it, will provide a continuous four lane route from Aurora to Cadiz, crossing both lakes and the land between the lakes. And it will eventually be part of a four-lane corridor all the way from Mayfield to Bowling Green. I'm proud to see this happen today. I'm proud we made the commitment. I'm proud we're following through on the commitment. And I can't wait to see the finished product. said to some of you then, you know, I won't be in this office by the time both of these bridges are finished, but I'm going to make darn sure that they're so far along that nobody can do anything about it. <laughs> There's a lot of people to thank. Obviously, I'm proud of what we're doing, but I can't do this by myself. Our legislature stepped up. Two of them are here today, and, and they made a commitment along with me to sure that this money was in there and stayed in there to do these projects. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> I can't say enough about Secretary Mike Hancock and the Transportation Cabinet. Not only on this project, but you might recall a little problem we had at the Ingram Street Bridge. <laughs> My goodness. I was out of state. At the time, I was in New York City, and it was like 7 o'clock in the morning, and I was going to a breakfast meeting, and my trooper ran up to me and said, Governor, you got to see this on the phone. And he showed me a picture of that ship sitting there at the bridge with part of the bridge on top of it. And I said, oops, <laughs> what are we going to do now? And as 
you all know, remember, we initially thought we were going to lose the whole tourist season, the whole summer, and that would have been devastating. But because of Secretary Hancock and his ingenuity and going out and finding a contractor that could come up with a plan, we had that bridge back open in time for the summer season. <laughs> work and I know you appreciate it and I do too. But I also want to congratulate all of you here and particularly your leadership here, your officials here in this whole land between the lakes region and the whole Jackson purchase that have continued to push and press and make sure that this is at the top of the list because you all know there are hundreds if not thousands of projects all across the state. All of them worthy all of them needing to be done at some point, but it takes your local leadership to make sure that they keep my feet to the fire and our secretary's feet to the fire and others in terms of making sure that this is a priority. They didn't have any trouble with me. Had to come from here, I knew how important this was. But they worked very hard to make sure this happened. And I'm talking about your county judge executive Hollis Alexander, Marshall County Judge Executive uh, Miller, and their fiscal courts, their staffs, and the city officials in this area. Let's give all of them another round of applause. <laughs> this is a great day for West Kentucky. It's a great day for the Commonwealth of Kentucky.
welcome you home once again. This corridor provides a safe route for our children to travel to school at Murray State. It provides a safe route for our people to commute to work at Murray and other places west. And it also <coughs> provides a safer travel route for our tourists in this area, which is a large part of our economy. Governor, we thank you. Secretary Hancock, we thank you. Both of your vision and your leadership uh, has been astronomical for this area. And again, I know you come into where the cupboard was bare, as I heard you say before, and you made things happen that we didn't think was possible in this part of the state. But we appreciate it. Welcome back to West Kentucky, and thank you once again.
outside, we're going to have a ceremonial groundbreaking for the Lake Barkley Bridge. So I uh, would invite all of you to join us out there if you'd like. But uh, before we dismiss here, let me just echo everyone's uh, thoughts one more time. How much we appreciate you for coming out today and for being part of this. And just know that it's on behalf of the Western Kentuckians uh, throughout this end of the state improvements to the roads and bridges in this area mean so much. We, that's, that's who we've worked for. We just know that we've enjoyed that from the bottom of our hearts. So with that, I would uh, dismiss this part of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you.